Well, this is still the same day from when I did the DOS video earlier. You can't really see, but we have snow now here. This is about it for England, I'm afraid. For anybody in Canada and such, I know what it's like. My sister lives there now, and I keep being berated on just exactly what snow is. For England, this is not bad, considering it was bright sunshine this morning. Anyway. We're back again with the Presario 2200 series 2232. It's just been. Uh, I did try the Sound Blaster driver to conclude from the last video. It does work. You do not need to install the 16 bit CTCM configuration manager program. So you can just install the 16 bit DOS driver and Win 3.1 driver, and we now have. Windows NT4. I was going to do 3.1, 3.5 and 3.5.1 but the amount of time it took to install NT4 I just could not be bloody bothered. Uh, this version has Service Pack 1 on it to begin with so that does help. Uh, the machine has 16 meg of onboard RAM and two 16 meg chips give me a total of 48 with so much shared for graphics that might prove a problem uh, in the future but we are going to be putting Windows 2000 on it after this it's not uh, super slow but not super fast let's set that down a second In fact, it's quite on the path for uh, some old machines that I remember seeing NT on at the time. We have a copy of Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 demo installed, if it would like to focus, which would be a no. As well as another game. The graphics driver is installed, however I have no sound with the set of drivers I have on floppy disk. Hmm. Let's restart it and show icons using all possible colours. Yes, so I have no sound. Uh, I'm not going to try and get the full set of drivers working on here when I do these installs. This is just a general boot up comparison between the operating systems. A quick showing. We all know what they look like. This is just them on the system. Really should change that, but then again, it's not going to be on here much longer. I would bump it up to the 64 or 80 megabyte or whatever it can take. Um, but I think that means going in the attic now because I've put my 32 megabyte chips up in my sort of permanent storage box. Which is annoying. I may do that. I may not. We'll see how the, uh, the other operating systems fare. Right. I tell you one of these days I'll use the tripod about and it'll actually be just nice and steady and I can set it in a position. Yay! Full possible coloured icons. That seemed a bit pointless. These icons kind of remind me of uh, OS2. Recognized as a 486 D D0. So nothing else is generally configured, it's just left as basic. Well, I'll drop that down to five seconds whilst I'm here. Recovery errors, hardware profile. I can't remember. It's been that bloody long. Where you go exactly to configure hardware natively in, in uh, NT4? 
because there isn't so much as a device manager on the control panel you have devices and it's uh... or is it hardware profiles no you see this is for services and such sound and that uh, actual sounds, it's well, services are there as well. The actual sounds, I know there is a. Uh, that's how you're networking, but. Your hardware profile and stuff. I'm probably just being thick. I say it. In multimedia, you probably just add it as a device and just click add and then just choose one of them. Right, there we go. Let's try that. Two twenty five one five three thirty. That's fine. It was probably that. That's I've just answered my own question there. And if I get sound when I reboot, well, that's just as good. Let's zoom in. My zoom slider is a bit. Uh, doesn't seem to do it when going forward. But it can uh, can catch when going back. Don't know what that would gain giving me full zoom there. Just waiting, waiting, and waiting. That's 35 times optical zoom. But because I'm as steady as a mountain goat, it's. Uh, Yes, there we go. Control, Alt, Keyboard. Do we have sound? be a yes. Oh, there you go, I answered my own question. Whack them on full for now. How about a bit of Jazzy Jazz Rabbit 2? Oh, Jazz Jack Rabbit. I did install DirectX 5, however I don't believe it was the correct Windows NT version. Little fact, this is the first system I played Jazz Jack Rabbit on was the Compact Presario system. Let's see if I can set this up and just have a quick blast. Right, and with the little bit cut off. Let's uh, don't have the tripod. Should really prepare a bit better. Aha. Uh, it's just fallen down bloody thing it where you facing something like that
the tripod would help. The menus run pretty slow, but then again I've always noticed that about Jazz Jackrabbit. Uh, this is set default direct draw 640 by 480 and the game itself I forgot this keyboard has a naff down button whoops God, I wish controls jump. That's that's okay, but I wish it was alt. Again, another game I played quite a bit. This demo as a kid never really got the head game at the time. So I have got it now. Whoop. It's one to go on the list of to eventually play through and finish. Again, the game's hit performance, running a, an actual full operating system, it's just fine. Sound reproduction's just fine. And other than your basics, it's still just an install of WinNT4. Uh, old copy of PaintShop Pro 3 loaded, just as an application test. I don't really have a lot of NT4 compatible software, so it would seem. Which doesn't surprise me. Oh, God. Uh... Uh, this is a good question. Uh, when? Oh. That'll be why. <coughs> uh, six forty. No, 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 no. Three twenty by two forty. Two fifty six. Uh, two fifty six colours. Oh god. Hello! I'm not even looking at the damn thing with a camera. Yes, hello. So. And one more thing. It is on here. A game I have spent many an hour playing. I believe I did get a copy of this now. Uh, although it wasn't proper disc, I think, which was annoying. I can't remember. Might have it on proper, might have only been a copy, is when it loads up. Emergency. I really loved this game, it really appealed to me as a kid. I remembered it vehemently playing it for hours, trying to figure out what to do. And there was several sequels, I have a couple of them. Again, uh, but I only found out the sequels in recent years. Point is, you choose your emergency services, choose your people. Oh god, that game's running a bit slow. Go upstairs. What we got there? Wrong person. Ah, that's right. You got to choose your vehicle. So let's have a cop car. Oh god, I can't remember how to play this. But either way. You choose the things that you need, and as we can see here, you've got a country lane. 
You have to send cops. We've had an accident. The T-boned. I've dropped the keyboard and failed the mission, so I can't even show it now. But, love the game. So this has been my Compact Presaria 2232 model, running Windows NT4. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube blagging. I've been Luke Third. Any questions and comments, please ask.